What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're gonna review micro SD cards. Yes, very exciting. These are, the brand is called, I think, Fuenchidic. If you know how to say it, let write it down below and write it phonetically. I don't know how to say it, but they come in sizes of 64 gigs, 128 gigs, and 256 gigs. And like I said, micro SD card, but they also come with the adapter. So if you want and you need to, you can put it into this and you can use it as a regular SD card at that point. Now, a couple stats about these, the speeds, you can read up to 100 megabytes per second and write at 50 megabytes per second, which will allow you to handle large video files quickly and seamlessly, at least as what they say, which also in turn should allow you to record video if you do video at 4K and 1080p. Okay, so at this point, I've switched the memory card that's in my Panasonic GH5. I took the SD card and what I did is I put it inside, because I have a few of these, <laughs> I put it into the adapter here, I put this into my camera, and my camera's recording at 4K 60, and it's doing a flawless job at that. So if you're worried or you want to know if these will be able to record at 4K 60 frames per second, no problem at all all and the rest of this video um, from here on out everything will be recorded uh, with that with the micro sd card or the slash sd card adapter uh, in here now some good use cases for these micro sd cards are you can put it in your phone if you have an android phone and the android phone or tablet has a micro sd card slot you can throw one in here to get very very cheap additional storage also if you have a drone or if you have a security camera or if you have a nintendo switch you can do that as well, throw in a micro SD card or an SD card if it takes it and use these with that. Next, what I'm gonna do is throw one of the micro SD cards into my Sony FX3000 action camera. All right, now at this point, I'm using my Sony action FX3000 camera, using these recording at 4K 30 frames per second and again, no issues with these micro SD cards. Uh, very reasonably priced, competitive with the market, so. Yeah, here you go. Now I have no problem recommending these. I've been using these for the last few days and they seem to work absolutely fine. I guess the issue is price-wise, they're almost identical in price to some of the SanDisk cards and SanDisk is one of the most reliable, well-known micro SD card, SD card storage companies. And at that point, I mean, I would like to see these cards be a little bit cheaper, especially compared to the competition. And in some regards, they're maybe a dollar more expensive than SanDisk, but again, they work great and they have been working great for me. So if you wanna take the chance and try them out, I'll link it down below. Thanks for watching, see you down the road. Peace.